a big motivating factor would definitely be past mistakes. Um, I'm here to prove that I can fix my past errors and not just to people but to myself. My biggest mistake was aligning with, with someone that that is, isn't trustworthy. I, I didn't have enough discernment to see the person's motives. And this time I think my people skills are much better to identify uh, the flaws in someone else's character. I think I love for, for the thrill of the game, you know. It's all about expecting the unexpected and staying on the edge, living on the edge. And I think that is what, what definitely enticed me to enter again. Well, not enter, but I got a call back. I deserve to be here because I deserve a second chance. I mean, this game isn't just, it doesn't test you on the physical aspect. It tests everything about your character. And I think I've grown a lot since the last time I played and I think everyone's in for a big surprise. I have been preparing for this season because you can't go into a season where it's return of the outcasts and not know what you're doing. So it's important to watch previous seasons and to prepare yourself mentally to be able to endure all the elements that this game has to offer. Because of my knee injury, I definitely have to work harder. I had to work harder um, and I still have to work harder because firstly I'm a bit heavier because I couldn't do any running um, and sprinting and excessive cardio and I think this is um, what's going to put me in a better position because I prepared because I know on the island we're not going to get a lot of protein source of protein is going to be limited so definitely going to experience muscle atrophy that's why it's important to make sure that you have a good foundation which is what I set up. I definitely want to improve my social skills you know my ability to open up you know because there was last time there was an island of secrets where I could escape to if I felt cut for <laughs> for being surrounded by all of these personalities. But I, I think it's important to accept the vibrant, the vibrancy of the diversity, you know, and that's what I'm hoping to achieve this time.